Hey, what's up, guys? It's Curti Fox, and today I'm here with somebody 99999, and he's also known as Victor, and he commissioned this build right over here. This is the Lebhair LTM 1450 8.1 mobile crane, and as you can see, it's very huge. And I have two versions here one is in transport mode, like this. And one is in the activated position. Now this is actually 99 blocks tall, so it's very long and very tall. And you can use this in your Minecraft cities to work on buildings, as well as assembling tower cranes. This is very, very tall, and uh, it would look good in your city if you do so. And you can also customize it if you do want to add in more counterweight for the ballast. Or you can turn this thing when you're building it. And one interesting thing I learned about this one is that it actually has staggered supports. That means their supports, they don't line up exactly per side. They're a little bit like diagonal from each other. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the build. Thanks again to Victor for commissioning the build. Uh, this video wouldn't really be possible without him. And I do want to have more construction vehicles on the channel. So a uh, shout out to him. Uh, but anyways... Let's get started. So first off, we're gonna make a base model for them. So depending on which one you wanna build, uh, we're gonna be starting off with the first base. So let's take out some materials. Take out yellow concrete, stone button, oak trap door, iron trap door, nether brick wall, black concrete, nether brick fence, smooth stone slab, brick stairs, that's all we can carry for right now. So first off, we're going to place down uh, two blocks above the ground. Yellow concrete, we're going to make it four blocks wide. And in the front sides, we're going to add in stone buttons. Then we're going to add in um, nether brick walls, four blocks wide on top. And then behind that, we'll add in a two by, say, two by two of yellow concrete. And add in another yellow concrete here on the side. And another one dangling down. And add in black concrete in that nook. Other side, we'll do the same thing. And so add in an upside down brick stairs like that, both sides. Alright, so next up, we'll add in um, smooth stone slab underneath, right in the middle of the cab. Same thing on the other side. And then we'll add in that iron trap door right here with an oak trap door next to it. Then on the sides, we'll add in a blackstone brick block or polished blackstone buttons like that, two blocks wide, and then in another brick fence on sides. All right, next on top, we'll add in these two yellow carpets here on the sides, the sides like that. And then we'll take out a black concrete, put it behind here, make it 25 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. After we have reached that point, um, we'll add on top cyan terracotta. And we will make this a 2x2. Two two. It goes overhang like that. And then we'll add in uh, these wheels. So their wheels are going to be a, sort of in sets of like three here, three here, and then two here in the back. So first we'll make that two by two of nether brick stairs. So this is going to be one wheel. And I'm going to use a world edit just to speed this up because this tutorial is going to be long, especially with that part. So we'll just make three wheels like that. And then skip a block, add in cyan terracotta, two blocks tall here. And then we'll add in another set of three. And this is going to be a gap away from the other side. So just skip a block away from this. I'm going to build that wheel right here. So that we have another set of three. In the back part, we'll skip a block, add in cyan terracotta. And then we're going to add... Just skip another block and add in another two wheels so we don't need this last wheel. So it's going to be three, three, and then two. And right above all the wheel parts, we're going to add in this polished blackstone brick slabs on top. 
all the way across. Like so, and the inner part of this will add in uh, the front part of the last wheel of the set, yellow concrete. This goes all the way back to the front, like so. And then we'll add in a stone brick slab, and this is good to go underneath the Cyan terracotta. Same thing in the back. And in the back, we'll take out stone brick stairs, and we'll add that back to back upside down like that. Stone brick slabs across the top part. And we'll add in spruce fence gates so it faces towards that slab. All right, and then this other part here. Um, I guess we'll go add in on the inside part, say terracotta, and this is good to go all the way across to the back. Like that. And then for the back portion, we'll add in stone buttons on top, side, and the back of this. And then polish andesite block here, polish andesite slab underneath. And then there will be uh, these two cyan terracottas. Actually, just one, since they're just building one half of it right now. And um, on top, there's going to be a stone pressure plate diagonal to that bunt, like that. Let's go uh, back here in the front, add in an oak stairs right on top of that black stone slab, and then two yellow concretes. And then we'll add in a stone brick slab next to this part here. Alright, so next we'll go in the middle set. Go where the last wheel is, delete these two blocks, add in a stone brick slab. I mean a stairs and then a slab like that. And then to side this we'll add in a black stone button right there. So after we're done with that, we're going to copy everything that we did on this side. And build it on the other side, so let's do that right now. Alright, so once we've built it on the other side, it should look like this. Now we're going to add in these supports. So there's going to be a brick wall here, say in terracotta on top, and a dark oak trapdoor underneath, stone brick stairs upside down in the front, stone brick slab on top, spruce fence gate over under here, open that up, and stone bun here on the side. And the other side, we're going to try to flip the design, so add in a brick wall here, dark oak trap door underneath, and on top, cyan terracotta, stone button here, stone brick slab, and stairs, and then a spruce fence gate, open that up. And the back part, I guess we're all done with that, so we don't need to do that. And then this part right over here, cyan terracotta, a brick wall, and then a dark oak trap door. And then we'll actually move this stone bun so it's above that brick wall. And the other side we'll add in upside down stone brick stairs, a brick wall here with a dark oak trap door underneath that brick wall. Great. And then to the back part, we'll add in acacia signs in the bottom corners for the tail lights. Like so, and then we'll also add in this black stone bun right here on the right hand side. Alright, so it should look like this. Alright, so once you're done with that, that's pretty much it for the base model. So this is the part of the tutorial where we're going to split off into two sections. So I'm going to make a clone of this and one's going to be this one, transport mode, and one's going to be that tower crane mode. Alright, to begin on the transport mode version, first things first, let's take out a lever. And we'll place that right on the right hand side of the middle, like that. And then we'll take out yellow concrete. And we're going to add that right on top of the stone brick slabs. We're going to make this a 2x2. Two two. And uh, then on top, we want to make sure this part's going to be four blocks long towards the front. So one, two, three, four, like that. Extend the rest. And the bottom part, we're going to extend it by one past it this and then we'll add in uh, oak stairs like that and they're going to be facing each other just a pair well actually two pairs like that as for the bottom area there will be uh, oak slabs make it two by two down here 
And then we'll add in these two oak fence gates. And then two more oak slabs. And then an oak stairs. Two blocks wide like that. And then at the top to bottom of this, we'll add in a birch fence gate. And we'll open the both out like this. Take out a brick wall and a diorite wall. Just add them right here. And we'll take out a ladder. Make an L shape around it. Like this, both sides. And then next we'll take out an oak stairs. Add one here and then an oak slab. And then we'll add in the other side. Two yellow concretes like this. And then uh, back onto this side, we'll add in an oak slab, two blocks Why Make it actually a two by two. And then upside down, oak stairs. And then uh, two blocks wide, yellow concrete. And then oak stairs, right side up. And we're going to make that so it's six blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six like that. Other side, we're going to do the same thing. And then we'll add in yellow concrete inside of this little hole here. And then we'll go in this back area, add in yellow concrete two by two, and then we're gonna connect this to the front area. And then next we'll add in a black concrete right here. And then an oak slab in front of it, dark oak sign in front of this. And on top we'll add in black concrete, dangling up towards the back, another black concrete. And we'll add in another brick wall in front of this. And then another brick slab underneath this. A yellow concrete right here. And then yellow concrete right on the inside of this. So we're going to extend this a bit. Add in oak stairs here. Yellow concrete on top. And just fill this in. Yellow concrete. As for the outer portion, we'll add in yellow concrete. So we're going to make three blocks long, and then we're going to make it sort of like a triangle shape like this. So it goes up. Add in these two oak stairs. Then at the top point, we'll add in uh, another yellow concrete here. And then an oak slab. And then there should be a polished andesite slab. And underneath, we'll add in a row of yellow concrete. Say down, oak stairs here, and then yellow concrete inside. And then we'll add in stone buttons, two blocks tall here. And then we'll go back onto this side, add in uh, oak stairs right here. So it's a block space in between, and then a two by two yellow concrete. Another yellow concrete sticking out with an oak stairs underneath. And then two polished andesite slabs like that. And then the inside of this will add in yellow concrete. So there's going to be two by two here. And then oak stairs so it's facing towards each other. And then we'll fill in the rest of this with yellow concrete. And you don't have to fill in like the entire thing, just all the parts that are exposed. So that there's no holes. Next up, we'll go in the back of this, add in a pair of oak fence gates. And then oak stairs underneath. And then a black banner on the left hand side. And right over here, we'll add in a birch fence gate. Two blocks here, and then another two birch fence gates. So that they are going to be facing towards each other. Another birch fence gate underneath, open that up. Another one down here, open it up. So it's like a little railing. And then we'll add another two in front of this cockpit area. And open them both up like that. Next we'll add in a yellow carpet on top of the cap like so. And then we'll add in a black snow button at this bottom corner. Alright, so next up we'll add in a yellow banner right behind this portion here. And then we'll make this banner. So this is actually a black banner. So get a black banner and then yellow dye. Put it inside the loom. Black banner, yellow dye, and then we'll make it across 
the left hand side, put it back in, and we're gonna make it go across the bottom half. And that's how you make this L banner. And just add that to the side. Like that, just for some more detail on the cockpit area. And I don't know why, but some of these blocks may have disappeared when I was making the thing here. So I just put it back to the way it was. So it should look like this. Um, anyways, next up we'll take out an oak fence gate. And we're going to add this across the side here. All the way across like that. And the other side. We'll add an oak fence gate here. All the way across the back. Alright, and then we'll add in oak buns. So there's going to be five blocks along here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then a blackstone button. And we'll also add in a dark oak fence gate right here. Open that up. And then a birch fence gate to side this andesite. And then we'll add in an oak slab so it lines up with this part. So two oak slabs like that. And dangling up, it's going to be a blackstone button. And then we'll skip block, add in four oak buttons. And next down over here, we'll add another blackstone button here. And then an oak trap door here. Close that up. Also add in an oak sign right here. Then we'll add an oak button dangling up from that. And then we'll add in chain block right in front of the slab and this goes all the way up to that ladder like that and we're going to go on top we'll add in these two blocks wide oak buns and then on this side there's going to be a dark oak bun going to be three blocks long here an oak bun make it two diagonally like that and in front we're going to add an oak sign here Go down over here, skip block, oak sign above that stairs. And right on this back part, we'll add in three oak buns. Oak bun on top, so faces this direction. And then we'll add in a redstone. So these redstones are supposed to represent the wire, so it's going to go onto this side. Make this go all the way across to the front that add another oak bun so it lines up with this oak bun and there should be another oak bun so it lines up with this stairs right there oak bun to the side as well like that all right so it should look like this all right so next we'll go in the front here and we'll add in chain block so it looks like it's connected to the cab so yeah that's pretty much it for the transport mode now we're going to be working on the actual crane itself assembled. Alright, so to do that, first things first is we're going to make the support beams, they stick out. And they're pretty much all the same design, so I'm going to sort of like show you where the support beams are. And I'll show you how to build one of them, and then you'll have to do it for the rest. So the support beams, they're basically this brick wall here, and the dark oak trapdoor. So you're going to delete these two blocks. And instead, we're going to add in these three brick walls like that sticking out same thing in the back part and remember to keep this acacia sign so one two three put back the sign delete that trap door and then one two three delete that trap door and another one here delete the trap door one two and three all right so now that you see all the points of the supports um we're just going to be building one so take out a brick wall diorite wall uh, polish andesite and then polish blackstone. So first off, to add in a brick wall here, darite wall, and then a brick wall again. And also we need an andesite wall, so put that underneath that brick wall, and then a polish andesite underneath that. And then we'll make a three by three donut with the polished blackstone like that so it should look like this so we're going to copy the same design right over here to each of the supports all right so once we have all four supports laid out it should look like this next up we'll add in an oak stairs here an oak slab other side we'll add in two yellow concretes and inside here on top of the yellow we'll add in stone brick slabs 
and we'll add in a iron, I mean an oak trapdoor here. Side, we'll close that up like so. And we'll also add in a blackstone button. So it is right there on the side. And then we'll get to go in the front of the cab and add a blackstone button right there on the right hand side. All right, so now this is the part of the tutorial. We're going to be building this thing. So to do that, uh, we'll need to make this base here. So uh, we'll go right above this slab and then we'll add in yellow concrete. And we're going to make an L shape. Add in an upside down oak stairs right there. And then we'll make a 2x3 of yellow concrete, an additional 2x3 like that. Then top here, we'll uh, skip these two blocks, add in two yellows. And then we'll add in these two diagonal oak stairs and add yellow at the bottom of this. And then an oak slab up over here. And then on the side, we'll add in two stone buttons. And then we'll add in a polished andesite slab right there side and then we'll go over here in the middle make a two by two yellow concrete add another yellow concrete here and then a two by two yellow concrete upside down oak stairs here uh, blackstone button over here on top we'll add in two polished andesite slabs and an oak stairs here then we'll skip block, add yellow concrete. And then we'll go diagonally, add another yellow concrete here. And another one behind that stairs. Then an oak slab over here. A dark oak sign in front of it. And then a black concrete. This is going to be right over here. And then we'll add in another brick wall on top, an upper nether brick slab behind it, and a black concrete right here, and then a yellow carpet right on top, then a yellow banner in the back of this. Then we'll go on the inside of this, make a two by two of yellow concrete, like that inside. And let's go back onto this side, add in a birch fence gate over here. You can open up towards it over here, open it up, and then two of them here open up towards each other. Like that. And then we'll add in another two birch fence gates here. And then a blank banner in the back of this. Okay. And then we'll make this cab banner. So the cab banner, that's going to be, we'll need a loom first. Take out a black banner and then yellow die. And we want to put in the yellow die so it's on the left-hand column. Put it back in. And yellow die across the bottom row. Then we have an L shape for the cab. Just add that to the side. Also add in another two uh, birch fence gates front of the cap, open them both up like so. And then we'll take out uh, this um, sandstone wall and then we're gonna make it one, two, three, four, five blocks tall and two blocks wide. So one, two, three, four, five, two blocks wide. Cross like that. And then we'll add in an oak fence and we're gonna make this two by two up like that then next we'll add in a two by four of oak slabs here so two by four and then we'll add in these two dark oak fence gates up onto either side of this and then next up we'll add in oak stairs right here and then a pair of oak fence gates on top. And then we'll add in these two oak stairs so it's facing each other like that. Uh, both sides and then we'll add in uh, yellow concrete. I'm gonna make this a 2 by 4 Like that. 
and then we'll add in four of these sandstone walls here and we shall add in another sandstone wall right on top of this end same thing on the other side and we'll add in um, onto this side in oak fence gate in the middle of that like so then on top we'll add in oak slabs here and then a 2x2 two two polished andesite slabs, and then two more oak slabs here. Then we'll take out yellow concrete, add this to the side here, make three blocks tall. And we're going to add it so it's like a 3x3. Three three. Then we'll add in another 2x3 here on the side, and 2x3 on the other side. Alright, so we'll do the same thing on the other side here. So just three blocks tall here, make this middle part three blocks long, and then this outer edge two blocks wide. So we got these two, it looks like middle fingers to me now. <laughs> Alright, now in the front, there is going to be, uh, we'll take out brick, and birch button, stone button, acacia button, uh, smooth quartz, brick slab, so first off, we'll add in these three blocks tall, yellow concretes, and to the side we'll add in a brick block, smooth quartz, and then brick slab, other side same thing. And we'll add in acacia buns, sides of the smooth quartz, birch buns on the side of the bricks, and then stone buns, two blocks tall here on the side. And then another two on the inside of this. And do the same thing on the other side. Alright, then on top we'll add in yellow carpet on top of the brick. So it's not all different color. And the inner portion of this is going to have in these two uh, oak buttons here. Both sides like that. Then we'll take out oak fence gates and I'm going to add two of them here in the middle open them up like that then on the bottom of this we're going to add in a pair of birch fence gates open them both up and then on this side we'll add in these two oak buttons here in the middle of this we'll add in a chain block blocks tall like that and then we'll add in a oak button here in the middle of this both sides like that then we'll take out chain block, add another one here, and make this other one another block taller so that they're both the same height like so. Next we'll add in these three birch fences here, other side on top, another three birch fences. And then right over here we'll add in yellow concrete, two blocks like that. And we'll add in a redstone um, wire right there. And then inside here we'll make two by two of yellow concrete. I'm going to make this go uh, past uh, this layer right over here. So we actually want to make this line up so it goes one block past this sandstone. I guess that lines up with the oak fence that we just placed earlier. So it should be like this. All right, so next we'll take out yellow concrete and we're going to add in so it's going to be a two by two. That. And we're going to make it seven blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make this a two by two. And then we'll make a two by two going diagonally towards this side. Actually, yeah. Like that. And we're going to make this one six blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Make this into a two by two. And we'll add another two by two diagonally in like that. Make this one four blocks tall, so one, two, three, four, like this. I'm going to make this a two by two. All right, now you see this part here, we're just going to like fill it in, these gaps, so I'm going to use World Edit for that, just to save us time. So you see all this. Columns, it has to be uh, filled in. So I'm going to fill it in like that, so that's one. Then the next one, like that. And then this one here, like so. So we got all of that laid out. And then underneath this column here, we'll add in uh, and a site wall. And this is going to go all the way down to the bottom. 
like that. So it should look like this. All right, good. Now I'll add in an oak um, fence gate over here. Open them up. Going to be on the right hand side for this. And we're going to go across this top section so it's on the second level of that. And we're going to open all of them up. And then we'll go on the other side. And we'll add in the oak uh, fence gates, open them up, and it's going to be pretty much the same thing here. Open them all up. But this time on this side, it's going to be another three right here. Open them up. Add an oak bun here. And then we'll go in this row here. Add in four oak buns. Like that. And then go up here, add in an oak sign. So skip a block here, oak sign. And then we'll add to the other side uh, oak button here. So it's gonna skip these two blocks, add in two oak buttons. So we're on the second level now. And then a black stone button right there. And then we'll go up over here, skip a block, add in an oak button, and then dangling up. Uh, oak sign and then there will be this oak plank here you know I guess you can probably use in and I'm gonna add an oak plank here dangling up blackstone button and then up on this level we're gonna add in four oak buttons here like that go on to the other side Add an oak sign here, skip a block, add another oak button, dangling down, oak button again. And then we're going to add in these dark oak buttons, so it's three blocks tall, right here. Alright, so next up we'll take out an oak fence, and we're going to add in a 2x2 two two here, like that. And yeah, there should be pretty much it for that yellow column. All right, so now we're going to work on this part right over here. So that's going to be an site wall. We're going to make this um, two by two. And we're going to make it three blocks tall. Make it two by two. We're going to fill in the middle of it. Like so, and then we're going to go in front, make this a two by two. And we're going to make this seven blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to make this seven blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make this two by two. And then we'll go down the in front, two by two. And this part's going to be six blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Make it a two by two. And we're going to go down the front. And we're going to make this three blocks tall, so one, two, three. Make it two by two. Now I'm going to fill in the middle areas of all these. So I'm just filling it in right now using World Edit just to save us a lot of time. So it should look like this. And when you're actually building it, you'll probably like fill it in. But, you know, I'm just like using World Edit just to save us time. Anyways, after we do that, uh, let's go on top here. We'll add in this uh, brick wall, diorite wall, and then an oak stairs and birch fence gates. So go on top here, add in a brick wall towards the front, diorite wall on the other side, and then oak stairs upside down. And they're both going to be facing the same direction towards that area. And we'll add in a pair of birch fence gates on the ends. And once we're done with that, we'll take out light gray glass panes. And I'm going to add that to the bottoms where all these diagonals are just to make it transition a bit smoother. Like so. Very nice. Alright, so on top of this, we're going to make a 3x3 three three of oak fences. A giant square right now 
And then on top, we're going to add in another two oak fences like that. And we're going to make this two blocks wide. Should look like this. And then next, we'll add on top three blocks wide oak fence. Then oak fence here, oak fence gate, and then oak fence. Uh, next on top, we'll add in two oak fences on the sides like this. And then we're going to add in an oak fence right here on the sides, both sides like this. Then on top, we'll add in uh, five blocks. I'm not sure if it's five blocks. It might. Yeah, I think it's five blocks wide of yellow concrete like this. Add in oak fence gate in the middle, oak fences on either side of that like so. And then we'll add in an oak trap doors three blocks wide and would we'll close them up like so all right next up we'll go on the back of this and we'll add in and diagonally down yellow concrete and oak stairs diagonally down and we'd add in four pairs of these two blocks wide um, yellow concrete so this is going to be one and two and three and then four. Then we're gonna add in one more by itself like that. And then these two oak slabs. And then yellow again. And oak stairs. And then uh, diagonally down in oak slab. Okay. Then we'll add in an oak stairs and an oak slab. Underneath this, we're gonna add in two oak fence. And then we'll add in these two oak fence gates. Open them up. Add in yellow concrete underneath. And then oak bun right here to the side. And then we'll take a chain block. We're gonna add it underneath. And this chain block is actually gonna extend all the way down. So it meets up with this one. So I'm gonna stack it right now. Alright, so once we extend that chain all the way down to meet up with that point, I'm going to go up over here and we're going to add in oak slabs, so it's like three blocks wide, and then yellow concrete. Alright, so at this point we're going to copy everything that we did over here on this side and build it on the other half. Alright, so once we built the other half like this, including that chain that goes all the way down, Take out oak trap doors, and I'm going to add in three of them here. And go up a bit and add another three here. Then oak slabs all the way across this. Oak slabs on the sides. Oak trap door in the middle. And then right here, we're going to add oak stairs either side. Oak slab in the middle. And then we'll add in oak trap doors on the sides. Oak fence gate in the middle of this. Oak trap door on top. And then we'll add in three blocks wide oak slabs. Then three oak trap doors. Then oak trap doors on sides. With an oak fence in the middle. And then three oak slabs here. And then we'll add in oak trap I mean fence gate so it opens up towards that slab like that and we'll add in another oak trap I mean fence gates here on the sides and I'm really hungry I need to eat breakfast <laughs> anyways next we'll add in oak trap doors here three blocks wide here add another three block wide oak trap doors like that all right so next we're going to make this middle portion so go down to this yellow concrete Add in one dangly up, dangly up another one, then dangly up two blocks tall, and then dangly up another one, dangly up another one, and then dangly up another one, dangly up another one. So over here on the second row here, we'll make this add in another two blocks like that. And then we'll go uh, two rows down and add in another two oak slabs like that. Add in also a birch bun here to the side of this. 
And then underneath here, we'll add in an oak fence. Then we'll add in another brick fence. Go diagonally up here. And we don't want to try to make this go diagonally all the way down. So it meets up at that point like so. All right. Then we're going to go diagonally inside and upwards. Add in our yellow again here. And go diagonally up again, another one. Dangly up again, two blocks tall this time. And dangly up three. So one, two, and three like that. Add oak slab right here. And an oak fence gate right here in the middle. Like so. And then we'll go dangly outwards and add in a oak fence like that. All right, so next up, let's go down underneath uh, here to the second block, and we'll add in oak fence. And we'll add it so it's uh, four blocks tall, so one, two, three, four. And we're going to add in a jutting out piece right there. All right, next we'll go on the bottom here, and we'll add in uh, oak fence, three blocks tall. We're going to go in the front here. And this oak fence is going to be eight blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go diagonally forward. And then we're going to try to connect these two parts together. All the way up. Like that. So they all connect. Very nice. All right. So after we're done with that, uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to copy everything that we did on the side and build the other half of this part. All right, so now for the hardest part of the tutorial, I think, is this arm <laughs> with the lattice. This is gonna be tough, but I don't know, maybe it might be easier than it looks. So first off, we'll make a two by three of oak fences here. And then we'll add in oak trap doors on the sides, so open that up, or rather close them up. And then next up, we'll add in an oak uh, fence. We're going to make a C shape around or a U shape. Like that. And then we'll make a 2 by 3 of oak fences. And then we'll add in another 2 by 3 of oak fences. And then we'll add in oak trap doors, three blocks wide. Gonna close them up like this. And then we'll add in uh, three blocks wide oak fences. Oak fence gate in the middle. Open that up oak fences on the outer edges like that. All right, so then we're going to delete these two oak fences in the middle. And we'll add in three blocks wide oak fence. That. And then we'll add in an opened up oak fence gate here in the middle. Open that up like that. Then we'll make a two by three of oak fences on top. And uh, this is the part where I think this is going to be pretty much symmetrical and it sort of follows a pattern. All right, so first we're going to make one slope of this with an uh, oak fence. So go up to here, go diagonally forward. And this layer is going to be three blocks tall. Next one is going to be three again. The next is going to be two. And then we're going to add in three sets of three twos. So it's going to be three, then two. That's first set. Second set, three, two. And then third set, three, then two. And then next is going to be three, three, two. So three, three, and then two, and last set it's going to be three, two. So three, then two. Like that. So this is what it looks like. So now I'm going to make the other three corners. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to build the same slope, just two blocks back. 
So that should look like this. So got two of them. And now we have to add in this pattern that goes back and forth. So it's going to start off with a uh, oak fence gate, open that up, and then an oak fence. And you're gonna keep on doing this like an oak fence gate, open it up, oak fence throughout. And then for the top section, that's going to be ended up with an oak fence. So we'll just add that right here. Add in the oak fence gate, open that up. And you're pretty much gonna go every other block fence gates and then every other block in between fences. So uh, one way to speed things up along because it is quite hard to build, well, tedious, is you're just you're gonna use the same type of block at a time. So one row, one run is gonna be fence gates and then you're gonna go back again and then add in the fence. So you're just gonna be pretty much doing this. So this is the method I came up with and if everything like lines up it should match up with the bottom area. If it doesn't then you probably messed up somewhere. Which I did actually in filming this tutorial so I have to go back and fix it because I don't want a mistake in there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add in these fences in between all of these fence gates. Alright so now that we have this nice lattice we're to copy this thing and we're going to build it so that there is another one just two blocks away so we're finishing off the other side of this. So I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to flip it this way to the other side. Alright and make sure it does align because apparently that thing did not align. I'm going to see. Alright. Yep that works like that. And then for this middle part, it is the same exact thing. We're just going to be doing the same row, just like fence gates here. Open it up. And you can keep the middle part opened up. And then we'll add in these oak fences like that. And you could go in the top part, pretty much do the same thing. Add in the fences here. Fence gates on the bottom of this. And I'm not going to be doing like this middle area because this is just a tutorial. Uh, just to show you what to do and you're going to have to do that by yourself. Alright so after we're done with that we're going to make the apex of this so let's take out an oak fence. We're going to add that here in the middle and then we'll add in an oak fence gate up open over here and this is going to be opened up towards the middle as well and then we'll add in oak fence gates here open it up and then oak fences here, fence gate in the middle, and open that up. And then we'll add in another oak fence gate here, open it up here, and this is where like the line starts to go down here. All right, now on top we'll add in uh, oak fences, three blocks wide. Other side, same thing, three blocks wide. And then another oak fence here. And we actually have to delete this block here. That's going to be uh, upside down oak stairs. And then we'll add in right side up oak stairs on top. The side back to back like that. And then there's going to be an oak fence either side of the stairs. And there appears to be an oak trap door in front of both sides. Like that. Add an oak fence in between like that. Alrighty, so now to make this chain, it doesn't really matter how long you make it because uh, it does, it just depends on your personal preference where you want it. If you want it up all the way over here or you want it all the way down here. So for this, you don't really need measurements because I'm just going to show you like the basic design. And I know there's going to be some people in the comments that want exactly how many blocks, but I, I don't think it's that important. So it's going to be leaning onto one side, so it's going to be chain making a twin tower of chain blocks. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna make this short. So the tutorial is less longer, so like that. And then we'll add in an say wall two blocks wide. And then on one side, which is the middle, I'm gonna add in, in another brick fence like that. And then we're gonna add some more chain blocks. However long you want it. 
and then we're going to end it up with an iron trap door. Now if you do want it deeper, again, customize it however you want it. Probably look better when it's like that though, when it's like longer. Alright, so I think the last step is, um, okay, we need to do this little railing here first just to add in more detail. So take out a birch fence, iron bar, and then a birch trap door. So we're going to go where this uh, trap door is, and we're going to go on the column in front of it, go all the way up here, and we'll add on top, birch fence, iron trap, iron bar on top, and then another birch fence. And the other side, we do the same thing. And this is just like a railing or something. And then we'll add in a birch trap doors in front of the bottom fences like that. Like so. Alright, so now I think the last step is, last step is going to be this line that goes across. Alright, to get started on that, we'll take out oak fence. Now we already started off with one here, so we're going to make six of these in a diagonal. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to make it diagonally up, but it's going to be two blocks tall this time, so two blocks tall like that. And then next up we're going to add 10 of these in a diagonal. So one, then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. Then we're going to transform into fence gates. So I'm going to place some blocks temporarily just to make things easier. So it's going to be three of them in a diagonal. So you like one here and then two, three. I'm going to add in the fence gates now. So one, two, three, delete these blocks. And then there's going to be two blocks tall of these fence gates. So we're going to add the two, so one, two, like that. And I think in my original design, I'm going to tweak it up a little bit just to make things a little better. So I'm going to actually open up this bottom one towards it, towards the back, and this top one towards the front. All right, after we do that, it's pretty much going to be fence gates all the way, so it connects up with this point here. So just add in some blocks, diagonally up to match up. That upper fence gate. So just add a fence gates on top. Open it all up towards the front of the crane. Delete these blocks here. And the reason why we're using fence gates here instead of just fences all the way across is because the cable actually splits in two here. Um, but yeah, I think that is pretty much it on how to make uh the lib here LTM fourteen fifty eight point one mobile crane in Minecraft. Finally, we've done it. It's kind of like a mega build in itself. And thanks a lot to Victor for commissioning this video and making this video possible. If you guys do enjoy the video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you had already. I'll see you guys in the next one.